going on, everybody? We just parked. Uh, we're pulling up to H Mart right now. We gotta go in there and pick up some uh, pancit noodles uh, that we're gonna be cooking today. And we'll head over to King Supers. Um, I'm not gonna film that one, but just wanna show you the Asian store I coded to get the noodles. I'm gonna show you the noodles I pick up for the pancit. Come on. Yo, and they got good fish here too. Raw fish. If you want them to fry your fish, you gotta go to Pacific Ocean and get that one. But, uh, the sea. We're doing the Filipino version. I grew up eating pancit. My family's from Guam, but my grandpa is Filipino. And, uh, doing the Filipino version. My wife taught me how to do, to learn from her mother. So, it's, uh, mother-in-law's recipe and we get what did we see look tropical corn sticks so corn star sticks that's the one you want we're gonna go check out real quick welcome back to old taste and see i'm making pancit today i'm actually making it for one of my best friends he got into a bad accident i'm gonna deliver it to the hospital for him it's one of his favorite dishes i learned how to make this from my wife it has nine ingredients Chicken, onion, carrot, garlic, celery, cornstarch sticks, soy sauce, salt, and black pepper. Yeah, it's a Filipino style version of it, but I also grew up eating the Chamorro style version of it. Let's take you through that process. All right, the first thing you, you want to do for the pancit is we have these leg cortez. Um, I'm going to put them in the pot. We're going to boil them. Gonna boil them with the... Uh, some salt and some black pepper. Should be good right there because we're going to add soy sauce to it later. So definitely don't want to make it too salty. I like these, uh, the black pepper corns that you actually crack fresh. I feel fancy with this glass black pepper device cracker. So yeah, black pepper, salt. Salt is gonna make the water boil quicker too. Um, so we're gonna fill up the water, cover up the chicken, we're gonna bring that to a boil. We're gonna boil this water, but instead of boiling it, this is a pressure cooker, so I'm gonna pressure cook it just to make it go faster, you know, this process is really quick. I already have the, uh, whatchamacallit, the carrots chopped up. Um, I just need the celery chopped up, the garlic, and the onion. And then, as soon as this is done, man, it's easy peasy from here. Yeah, so I'm going to rinse out the celery. I already pre-chopped those onions earlier. Um, we'll get these celery nice and rinsed out. Some people chop off the leaves, but... These ones look pretty good, you know? These these leaves look pretty good. They're nice and green. Gonna add some flavor. I like to keep the strainer right here because I just dump that joint right back in. You know, you can keep another bowl, like how I did here with the carrots and stuff. Preparation bowl, you know. Celery nice and just little small pieces like that right there. You see, that's what you want in the um, uh, for your celery. Or you can make them. You can dice them a little bit smaller too if you want to make them, you know, smaller. You can dice them, mince them tinier as well. So up next is our onion. You know, and I already have a half of one, you know, already saved from when I cooked, uh, whatchamacallit, another dish the other day ago. So, you know, if I don't use the whole onion, I usually keep these in those little vegetable storage um, containers that keep them fresh. So, yeah, and I cut my onions down the middle, and then I turn them to the side, and then I just cut down the side like that because, you know, it'll fall apart. See how it's starting to fall apart like that? That is what you want right there. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you want. You know, you want your onions to look like that on the knife, and then, you know, they just fall apart when you're cooking, you know. Hold it down, watch your fingers, and boom. Those are the ingredients besides the chicken quartet and the, uh, the noodles. And that right there is one of the most simple, one of the most affordable ingredients uh, base meals that everybody loves and you know like I said before the, these right here these tropics where you see me went to the store and get that's the one you want to get um, this is actually a I don't know if you can see it but a Filipino favorite uh, you might hear that pressure cooker um, start hissing um, but that's one of my favorite things to cook with is a pressure cooker it just makes things a little bit quicker when you're cooking um, I'm putting these onions aside as I chop the garlic, which is one of the most least favorite things to chop up. I mean, peel for me. Uh, but, you know, you got to do it if you want to make it through it. This pressure cooker, it has a release on it, which is fine. You can release the, uh, the hot air here. But I'm going to go ahead and run some warm water on it. Some warm water and look at it, it's releasing just a little bit, see? Right there. So when you release it, it doesn't go all over the place. You want to wait for this little yellow button to go inside. Um, yeah, that's what you want right there. And then, voila, there you go. You got cooked chicken in there. Keep that broth. Do not dump that broth. You want that broth because we're going to pour it on the new dose. I got some tongs and a, and a fork and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just peel off that chicken while it's hot. Um, see how it falls right off the bone? Get all that chicken broth. Yep. Just gonna peel off all that chicken and then just shred it up. We're gonna shred the joint up. Just like that. Oh, that's a bone. But, you see that right there, how it just fell off the bone? All that meat is straight off the bone. And then you just have your shredded chicken. It creates the flavor. Whenever you cook with meat on the bone, you get more flavor. That's a fat jack. So yeah, that's one down. Got one more to go. And look at that pile of meat right there. Boom. Now I need to put this in there preparation bowl because this one's gonna get get one right here. Let's get some boom nice and cooked look at that pressure cooker nice and cooked chicken meat all of that that right there is flavorful which you you should try this at home there you go. So now we have a whole big pile of chicken from the two leg quartets. No bones, no no cartilage, no nothing, and just shredded chicken. So, and remember, save that chicken broth. You definitely want to keep that because this, my friends, is what we're going to use to season the whole thing. I got my trusty wok. You know, I'm, I'm bone drying it right now. Um, and then I'm going to put some oil seasoning it. Thank you, Mom, for the wok and the pressure cooker for sure. Yeah, we're going to put, put some oil in here, and then I'm going to let that smoke. And once that smokes and gets seasoned, we're going to go ahead and saute the, the onions and garlic. I go with garlic first, and then I throw the onion. Brown the garlic just a little bit, you know. And then we have to go ahead and we're going to remove that. Whereas this is cooling down, I'm going to show you what to do um, with your noodles. I just added some uh, oil. I have this extra virgin olive oil. I added some in here. Letting that smoke and then, um, you know, because what it does is it creates a base or a season. You see that gloss right there? So nothing gets stuck to the pan. So right on, as we let that uh, smoke cool down, we'll go ahead and open up our noodles and we're gonna rinse them in some warm water, you know. Don't soak them, that's why I'm using the strainer. You don't want to soak them because if you soak them, um, that's where it, it'll come out soggy. Remember, we're gonna use that 
chicken broth to give it some more flavor. So, yeah. Yep, and that right there should be good. That's how you want your noodles. See how it's bouncing like a trampoline? Boop. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in the garlic. My favorite part. You might get some onion in there too, that's okay. But I like to brown a little bit of the garlic. So you wanna brown that down. Yeah, it's already turning brown too. Look at that. See that? Look how quick that was. Go ahead and throw in my onions. Get that onion in there. So now that we got our onions and our garlic sort of see through nice and brown, we're going ahead and we're gonna go ahead and add in our veggies, our carrots, celery, and our chicken with a little bit more oil. Adding some of that color. A little bit more oil. And then we're gonna also add in with that our chicken that we pressure cooked. And I wish you could smell this at home. We're gonna go ahead and get our chicken added in there. Oh yeah, all that chicken. Oh, oh. So the chicken's added in there. We got our salt, I mean, we got to add a little bit more salt and black pepper um, to the mix. Not too much salt though, because remember, we're going to go ahead and put some soy sauce in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add in just about that much right there. I do like black pepper, and if you've been following my show, I like everything spicy. This one... Mark can't have spicy, you know. He injured his back pretty good. Um, so we're gonna add some black pepper. Normally, and this is what I want to try one of these days would be adding, um, making my my uh, my pancit with uh, habanero, which is one of my favorite peppers. Might look like a carrot, but uh, gonna be spicy. Yeah, we're gonna saute this. Make sure that the carrots get nice and soft with the celery. I'm using Kikkoman soy sauce. We're gonna go ahead and add some in. This right here is where the flavor comes in. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get these noodles in. Oop. And look at that. I told you, it feels like a nice and spongy, like a trampoline, but it's not too soggy neither. All right, so now we got the noodles in. This is the most important part, everybody. I'm going to take some chicken broth in. I'm going to make sure that I got the right amount of chicken broth in there. And um, you do not want to make it too soggy like I said before. So you want to mix everything together. And I told you I like everything meaty, chunky. Look at how much meat and chicken is in there. Like this is going to be really good pants it now and you notice that that was all the chicken broth I used that right there is what a pan shape is all about you know your noodles aren't soggy or you know they have the right consistency um, you know nothing's getting stuck to your wok pan I like a lot of meat like for every scoop they look for every scoop of pan shape got all that chicken in there 
fill you up. Definitely fill you up. Alright, y'all. The moment of truth. Bingo, it's my boy Mark. My man right here. My man Track. Uh, he got into a bad uh, motorcycle accident. Someone ran him off the road. So, hey, uh, the link below, I'm going to be putting a GoFundMe page. Um, you know, medical bills are high. You fractured your pelvic and broke my spine in two spots. Yeah, man. So, any help, you know, the link will be below. Greatly appreciated. My man Track right here cook, cooks it up, man. No. Come and brought me my favorite meal, noodles. Yeah. Uh, simple. Really appreciate it. That's what brothers do, man. Appreciate it. He's a good guy. You know, and could cook his uh, could cook his butt off. You know, he's an amazing cook. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Peace, everybody. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing family to come together and friends. Brothers and sisters, thank you for allowing Mark to have this meal. Um, I hope it nourishes his stomach. And we ask for a full recovery of Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Amen. 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 Try it out, man. If you ain't never had these, you're missing out. These are the best. I'm real happy to share with you on this program, Oh, Taste and See That the Lord is Good. I want you to know that I have tasted and I've personally seen just how satisfying the Lord Jesus Christ is. And until somebody comes to Jesus Christ and actually tries what he's offering, and what he's offering, guys, is not just a prosperous life. He's not offering to fix a few problems. He's offering you a walk with God that you cannot obtain through your own recipe for life. Jesus Christ, when he came to this earth, he came not only to teach us about God, to declare the Father to us, but he also gave himself as a sacrifice to pay for our sins. Here's the offer that he makes. He said, I am the bread of life. He says in John chapter 6, I'm the bread of life, and he that cometh to me, he'll never hunger. You taste and see how good the Lord Jesus Christ is. It's a free gift. He's offering this freely. He did all the work He's already put the recipe together. The dish has been served. And now, as he told his disciples almost 2,000 years ago, he said, come and dine. And that's the invitation to you. Come and dine. Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and sup with him and he with me. Everything's ready. He has invited you to the feast. And now he wants to walk. He wants to fellowship with you each and every day. And it begins with you accepting the invitation. Taste of this bread of life, and I promise you will walk away satisfied.